Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog FarmhouseOnBoon.com and today I'm going to show you how to make sourdough blueberry cobbler. This is a recipe that I tried recently at home and we absolutely loved it so I knew I'd have to share it with you. It's very similar to my pumpkin cobbler and my sourdough peach cobbler which you can also find here on my YouTube channel and on my blog. All delicious recipes especially depending on whatever is in season. So let's dive right in. First I'm going to add to my cast iron skillet four cups of blueberries. Now I'm just using frozen today but you can also use fresh. Let's face it, I don't actually ever measure whenever I'm making things like this, but I do when it's on my YouTube channel. In real life, I would just pour a bunch of blueberries, taste them, see how sweet everything is, and I add the honey, but for today, we'll measure. Then I'm gonna add three tablespoons of butter. This is some local grass-fed butter. You can use any kind of butter. Again, I'm just gonna estimate. Next, I'm gonna add a quarter of a cup of sweetener. I'm gonna use some honey that I just actually ordered from a co-op, Country Life Natural Foods. They have a truck order. You get free delivery on orders over 500, so my sister and I just did it. So if you find somebody in your area, you can do that as well. But it is organic and raw. Of course, it won't be raw after I cook this cobbler, but good for other applications. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of einkorn flour. Now I find when I'm using einkorn flour that I need more of it or less liquid in a recipe. So if you're using whole wheat flour or all purpose, use about two tablespoons. I just freshly milled this einkorn and I even used it for my biscuits as well. All right, I'm just going to get this going on my stove at about low to medium heat to get everything melted and incorporated. For my grains, I freshly milled whole grain einkorn. You could do whole wheat, all purpose, really any flour will work. You'll need slightly more if you're doing einkorn. The night before you want to make this cobbler, get two cups of flour, One half cup of sourdough starter that is fed and bubbly. As you can see, mine here is nice and bubbly. A third of a cup of melted coconut oil, a quarter of a cup of honey. And then let it sit at room temperature covered with a tea towel for eight to 24 hours. While those blueberries are heating up, I'm going to get the rest of my dough worked. So this was the dough that soaked overnight. To this, I'm going to add a half of a cup of cream, one teaspoon each of baking soda and baking powder, A quarter of a cup of organic brown sugar, a quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and one half of a teaspoon of salt. I just like to incorporate this with my hands, I feel like there's no other good way to do it. You could of course also use a mixer. I'm going to put my biscuit dough or the cobbler topping dough on a lightly floured work surface, then flatten it out to about half to three quarter of an inch, and then just start cutting it like biscuits. Once you have the blueberries covered with biscuits, place it in a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or until the biscuits are golden in color. All right, well thank you so much for watching this video. We are already enjoying the blueberry cobbler. My daughter and I were having bites of it and it's delicious. We absolutely love this way of making a dessert with long fermented grains so that your grains are more digestible. One of the main reasons why we love using sourdough in our home. If you're over on Instagram, you might see that I share a lot of stories of other people who are creating things with their sourdough starters using my recipes. 
I love being tagged over there and resharing those stories. It seems like there is a sourdough revolution right now. Basically everybody is getting a sourdough starter, which I fully endorse and love. You can find this recipe on my blog with a printable recipe card if you want to save it for later. I also have my peach cobbler and pumpkin cobbler over there as well. I'll leave links down in the description box below. If you are brand new to sourdough starter, make sure to check out my free sourdough ebook. That can be found at bit.ly slash farmhouse sourdough. I have all my favorite sourdough recipes as well as a resource for why you would even want a sourdough starter, what's the benefits, and how to start your own. It's really easy to start and a lot of people are doing it, which is so fun. All right, well, if you are brand new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.